I'm Annie with ByAnnie.com and Patterns by Annie, and I'd like to tell you about our pattern Grab Some Grub 2.0. The Grab Some Grub 2.0 pattern includes instructions for classic lunch bags in two versions, quilted or non-quilted. These roomy bags measure 9 inches high, 8 inches wide, and 6 inches deep so are perfect for carrying all the fixings for a hearty lunch, including a thermos, lunch cube, and more. It's easy to carry the bag using the softly padded handle at the top. An optional chalkboard border on front and a see-through vinyl pocket on back provide space for ID or fun notes. On the inside, a mesh pocket holds an ice pack or napkins and utensils, and iron-on vinyl laminate may be added to the lining to make it easy to wipe it clean. The back may be closed with a side release buckle or a combination D-ring swivel hook closure. When empty, the bag folds flat for storage. Soft and stable gives the bag great body and stability and ensures that it may be machine washed and dried for long lasting wear. The Grab Some Grub 2.0 pattern gives complete step-by-step -step instructions for either a quilted or a non-quilted version and includes directions for adding iron-on vinyl laminate for a wipe clean interior. You'll love the check boxes in the pattern which help you keep track of where you are in the process as well as the handy tags for labeling all your pieces. There are dozens of helpful illustrations in the pattern to guide you, and we've also filmed an add-on video to help you with some of the more unique aspects of this project. This helpful video series will show you how to prepare the pieces for the non-quilted version of the bag, including adding the iron-on vinyl laminate. How to prepare the bag body, including attaching the borders, hardware closures, and pockets and finally how to assemble the bag, including binding the edges. The clear and complete pattern instructions combined with the add-on video make Grab Some Grub 2.0 a pattern that can be accomplished by all levels of sewists, from confident beginners to more advanced makers. Makers will need skills for careful marking and rotary cutting and for sewing accurate seams. Some experience with my patterns and terminology is always helpful. Most of the project is very straightforward and the videos will walk you step by step through the more challenging aspects. Let's talk a little bit about the supplies that you will need to make Grab Some Grub 2.0. The pattern recommends that you use three fabrics for each bag. A main fabric for the exterior, a lining fabric for the interior, and a coordinating fabric for the handle, borders, and bindings. Note that on some of the models that I've shown in this video, we've added an additional fabric for extra interest on the flap border or the bottom border. Because the body of each tote is one long piece of fabric that folds around to make the front, base, back, and flap of the bag, we don't recommend using directional fabrics for this project. Once you've made one bag and understand the process, you'll be able to make the necessary adjustments to use a directional fabric for your next bag. Using soft and stable for the Grab Some Grub bags gives great body and stability, as well as insulative qualities, and enables you to use any type of fabric for the bags. I especially like to use quilting cottons because of the wide range of colors and designs that are available. You may add iron-on vinyl laminate to the lining so that you can wipe it clean. We recommend that you make the non-quilted version if you are adding the laminate. For both versions, you'll also need some fusible interfacing for the border and a bit of mesh and fold-over elastic for the interior pocket. You may use chalkboard fabric or coordinating fabric for the border on the flap, and you'll need some vinyl for the ID pocket on back. There are two options for closing the bag, a 1 inch side release buckle or a 1 inch D-ring and swivel hook. The pattern includes complete instructions for both options. Finally, you'll need thread to match your fabrics and we suggest using SoFine 50, a 50 weight polyester thread from Superior Threads. Most of the stitching is done on the coordinating fabric, so you'll definitely want thread to match that. We also picked threads to match the main and lining fabrics and the fold-over elastic. It's so much fun to have a cute bag to carry lunch, and it's even more fun to personalize them with fabrics and notes on the chalkboard borders. These spacious lunch bags make perfect gifts for kids of all ages, too. We can't wait to see the bags that you make, so please be sure to share pictures of your finished projects with us. 
Find us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube by using at Patterns by Annie. And if you liked this video, please click on the like button below to give us some feedback. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button too, so you're sure to know when we post new videos. Thank you so much for watching. Happy stitching!